a very good afternoon friends myself ashish jugle and today i am going to deal with the different linear measuring instruments how it can be used how it can be evaluated and how it can be measured we have to decide in this particular lecture so what is mean by measurement measurement is the process in which we determine the unknown quantity that is called as a measurement now the unknown quantity like dimension length width thickness radius etc etc what we call as a measurement measurement generally having a two types that is line measurement and end measurement whenever we measurement a distance or evaluate the distance between the two lines called as a line measurement and whenever we evaluate the distance between the two surfaces called as a end measurement Uh, by using this particular in measurement we uh, find out number of unknown parameters by using instruments then what are the this particular linear measuring instruments these are based these are uh, based on the it is it, it, it will be classified based on the methods of measurement one is direct measuring instrument and second is indirect measuring instrument in case of direct measuring instrument we get reading directly within one step or in 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 case of indirect method of measurement we are required more than one conversion to get the exact reading what we call as a indirect method of measurement measurement or indirect measuring instruments measuring instrument can be classified as a graduated instrument and non graduated instrument what are the graduated instrument it includes ruler vernier caliper vernier height gauges vernier depth gauges micrometers dial indicators etc and non graduated instrument it includes the calipers wire gauges screw pitch gauges radius gauges thickness gauges slip gauges etc it is called as a non graduate because it only tells accept accept or reject of the part but in case of graduated instrument it tell exact reading so it it is called as a graduated instrument so what are the graduated instrument these are the graduated instrument like vernier caliper micrometer height gauge depth gauge some of the examples of measurement over here so these are having all graduated lines marked on their body that's why it is called as a graduated instrument these are the non graduated instrument like caliper wire gauges screw pitch gauges internal caliper external caliper these are the gauges these are tells only the accept or reject or it will transfer the dimension from one place to another that's why it is called as a non graduated instrument so linear measuring instrument also classified based on the accuracy that can be obtained number one is non precise type instrument it includes steel rule caliper divider depth gauge telescopic gauge etc and precision type instrument it includes vernier caliper vernier height gauge vernier depth gauge micrometer slip gauge because it has a high precision that's why this instruments called as a precision instrument non precision instrument having less precise than precision type of instrument such as the example steel rule this is a non precision instrument it only it it it, it, it has problem that it will give the parallax error because i i look at this this is the example if your eye is exactly perpendicular to the, your distance marking distance it will give exact result above or below gives the wrong result so this is a non precise instrument next is precise instrument that is vernier caliper how we calculate the list count using vernier caliper what is mean by list count the smallest division that can be measured by that particular instrument is called as list count of that instrument so in case of evaluating the list count of vernier caliper we have to see the capability of instrument to measure the minimum distance accurately called as list count it represent the accuracy of the instrument accuracy of the measurement the difference between the value of main scale division and auxiliary scale division we have to evaluate over here so list count of vernier instrument list count of vernier instrument also calculated as value of minimum division on main scale divided by total number of division on auxiliary scale look at this this is the basic evaluation of list count <coughs> when 
when these particular two jaws meet exactly each other and zero line exactly coincide with the zero then instrument is perfect it has no error but when it will be a when this zero line will be forward or backward the error is occurred in the instrument so how to calculate the list count how to understand the list count here when zero main scale is coincided with zero of vernier scale at that time 49 divisions of main scale is situated within the 50 divisions of vernier scale so one main scale division is equal to 1 mm so one vernier scale division is equal to 49 division of main scale is within the 50 divisions of vernier scale hence 49 divided by 50 is equal to 0.98 so list count is difference between the two scale what are the two scales main scale and vernier scale what is the list count on main scale list count on main scale is 1 mm what is the list count of vernier scale 0.98 so 1 minus 0.98 is equal to 0.02 mm hence list count of vernier scale is 0.02 mm next precision instrument is micrometer what is the list count of micrometer this is the datum line this is the half scale and this is the mm scale what we call as a whole millimeter scale this is the circular scale in which 0 to 50 divisions are there so list count of micrometer is value of smallest division on main scale smallest division on main scale is 0.5 mm smallest division on main scale is 0.5 mm and it is and divided by total number of divisions on auxiliary scale total number of division auxiliary scale is 50 so 0.5 divided by 50 is equal to 0.01 mm so list count of micrometer is 0.01 mm next is vernier caliper what is the principle of vernier caliper when two scales main scale and auxiliary scale or do a slightly difference in size are used the difference between them can be utilized to enhance the accuracy of measurement means difference between the two scales is used to evaluate or calculate the reading this is the basic principle of vernier caliper in case of construction we have to see these are the two internal measuring faces while measuring the hole or inside diameter of the hole we use these faces these are the this is the fixed jaw this is the sliding jaw whenever you want to measuring the external dimensions like diameter length etc you can use this external measuring faces this is the lock nut whenever you set the reading at that time you just lock it it promotes to maintain the reading throughout vernier what we called as a movable scale this is fine adjustment screw and this is the depth measuring blade this particular depth measuring blade is used to find out the depth of the any object within the limit of 1 bpm or 200 mm these are the applications look at this this is the vernier caliper for measuring the external this is for internal the scale of the same is evaluated over here here is the 40 41 42 43 43, 43 mm on the main scale and vernier scale this is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 this is the 10 11 and this is the 12 12th division coincide with the main scale division so total number of uh, reading is 0.24 so 43.24 is the reading this is for external application this is for depth measuring this is for internal dimension measurement so what are the errors in vernier calipers errors due to play between the sliding jaw and fixed scale bar this is the error come up occurred when there is a play between the two jaws errors due to the wear and wrapping of jaw last look at this if these two jaws are wear over here there is a definitely error will be occur errors due to the incorrect observation of the scale reading when we observe the scale inaccurately error will be come errors due to the excessive force 
if you apply excessive force on moving jaws at that time error will be come error also due to if the line of measurement does not coincide with the line of scale if the measurement is not taken with the exactly coincident then error will be come so what are the precautions to be taken in case of use of vernier caliper no place should be there between the sliding and fixed jaws if play exists then the accuracy of the vernier caliper will be lost the tips of measuring jaws should not worn third is use the stationary jaws mm, on reference point and obtain the measure measured point by sliding the movable jaws the vernier caliper must always be properly balanced in hand filled lightly the sliding jaw through the adjusting screw you must do not push the moving jaws under the pressure you just apply gently or gently hand pressure on the jaw use adjusting screw for the final treatment in case of measuring an outside diameter be sure that caliper bar and the plane of the caliper jaws are truly perpendicular to the workpiece longitudinal of the set line so this is the general introduction to the measuring devices remaining measuring devices we will see in the next video thank you